Welcome back to The Morning Mindset. I am Kerry Green, brother in Christ, who's here to speak some words of truth to you this morning. I'm here to tell you some of the facts about what God has done through the redemption of Jesus Christ so that you can be equipped today to live this life in a way that brings Him glory and brings good to your life and the lives of those around you. That's a long way of saying what the morning mindset is really all about. I want to see believers in Christ truly living as believers in Christ. And one of the areas in which we are to be distinct from this world when it comes to being a Christ follower is through the humility that comes out of our lives. You see, our Savior, the one whose name we bear as Christians, Christ followers, he was the most humble of all. He condescended to come down to the earth from his throne in heaven. He condescended to squeeze all of his essence into a tiny little human body and become a baby birthed as each one of us is. He condescended to live a life just like we do, beset with all the struggles and all the temptations and all the hardships that come. And he condescended to be abused by the very people he created as he paid the price for their sin. You see, our Savior, whom we follow, calls us to follow him into this character trait of humility. And it's the king of all the character traits. It's the one out of which the rest of them flow. And yesterday I mentioned that it is a good thing for us when we recognize how helpless we feel in conquering our pride because it humbles us and pushes us to depend on Christ himself, who is humility incarnate, to come and live through us and to overcome the pride for us. And the passage I want to read to you out of the book Humility by Andrew Murray today really encapsulates this well. Listen to his words. He says, the life of God, which in the incarnation entered human nature. So he's talking about Jesus coming into the world is the root in which we are to stand and grow. It is the same almighty power that worked there and then onward to the resurrection, which works daily in us. Now let's pause for a moment and unpack what he just said. He's saying the same power that enabled Jesus to become humble as a child and be born into this world. And that very same power that led him not only to suffer and die on the cross, but to be raised from the dead, you know, resurrection power, that same power is the power that daily works in you and me. I don't know if you stop to think about that, but Ephesians chapter one outlines that very clearly, that resurrection power is in you. It's in me. It is the power from which we are to draw our every spiritual breath, so to speak. We are to live out of that kind of power source. Andrew goes on and he says, our one need is to study and know and trust the life that has been revealed in Christ as the life that is now ours and waits for our consent to gain possession and mastery of our whole being. So he's encouraging us to learn who Jesus is, to learn who he is in his humility. Because as we understand what humility looked like in his life, we're going to recognize that that same humility truly does live inside of us because Jesus himself lives inside of us. That's an empowering thought. Because if that is true, and I don't say if in a way that I doubt it, I say if just hypothetically, if that is true, and it is, then we have everything we need to overcome the pride in our lives and the sin in our lives because Jesus himself is in us. I want to encourage you today, my sister, my brother, that you have all you need. Say that to yourself. I have all that I need today to overcome pride, to overcome sin, to overcome irritation and selfishness and condescension and bitterness and pettiness. Today, you have all you need. Walk in that strength and that confidence today because Jesus himself, the humble one, lives within you. Join me again tomorrow as we continue talking about humility.